Fata Makkı is a shining star in the history of Islam. It's a big achievement and it's the most respected event in the history of Islam. Fata Makkah was completed in 8th of Hijri. Why we say Fata Makkah was complete? Because it was totally in the hands of Quraysh and Khana Kaaba, the house of Allah, was full of idols and Islamic prayers were absolutely not offered in the Khana Kaaba. Yung Khana Kaaba ko wo maqam hasil na raha jo uska asl maqam hai ke wo khuda ka ghar hai aur wahan sirf aur sirf khuda hi ka naam liya ja sakta hai aur wahan sirf khuda hi ki ibadat ki ja sakti hai leaving aside all these things since there was no islam so the tribes of Quraysh and people from around the world and near areas, they had their own idols. Idols were also not very common. Every idol belonged to a tribe or a specific group of people and they would worship him. Even the Hajj was performed around them. Even the Umrahs were performed around them. And that is how it was a need. It was essential. It was absolutely important that the real shape and the real cause of the Khana Kaaba should be reinstated. Lekin, sochne ki dousi baat ye hai, ke ye koi maamooli kaam nahi tha. Ye is liye maamooli kaam nahi tha, ke if there are so many idols, and if there are hundreds and hundreds of tribes to worship them, how strong they must be. Alone Quraysh were very strong and they were strong enough to fight back, defeat or face any small army, any small number and a simple request or a simple invitation to Islam, it didn't matter them, matter for them at all, absolutely. Muslimano ke liye ye bahut pada challenge tha. Muslimano ne with the passage of time with the strategy of Prophet peace be upon him, had got sufficient strength now. They were quite strong by the grace of God. They were very well equipped. And now, with all these things, they were able to perform this noble task. Ahista ahista unki Islam ki taraf ravangi aur phir vahaan se Madina Sharif mein ja ke concentration and over there making the city state of Madina and making 
the strength more and more day by day and having fought many wars also and having that experience they were now in a position to get back khana kaaba shif so ultimately the decision was taken by the prophet peace be upon him sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam ke khana kaaba ko واپس کیا جائے اور یہ اسی صورت میں ہوگا کہ جب مکہ کو فتح کیا جا سکے